Wither and Trim. Weighing in today at 12 stone and 5 pounds in his second professional contest from Luton, Mohamed Mustafa. <laughs> Your timekeeper, Stephen Pucci from Milton Keynes. This is a super middleweight contest of four three minute rounds. And themselves. Good luck to you both. Well, a very simple final instruction there from Bob Williams. Good luck to you both. This four three minute rounds of super middleweight between Mohamed Mustafa in the white. There he is. And you just saw his opponent, Thomas Samasas, in the black shirt. Samasas fighting out of Lithuania. 11 fights, one win, nine defeats. And a draw, Mustafa with one fight and a draw in that one fight so far. Made his debut back at the end of last November at York Hall against Scott Douglas, another fighter early in his career. One win, one defeat, one draw. And they drew 39-39, which is a fairly unusual card. So that would be a round each and two drawn. And Mustafa having to wait quite a while before the start of this fight because the referee saw that Sam Sassi's thumb on one of his gloves wasn't attached so that had to be dealt with yeah good spot by Robert Williams obviously you know paramount safety of the boxes first and foremost the British boxing ball control a good spot when you consider these new gloves an unattached thumb can do some real damage you remember like the old days I'm not saying you remember them but you think back to the old days and the likes of Fritzy Zivic and the notoriously rough fighters who were just thumb fighters in the eye no you're right good point that, and that's why I think it took many years before it actually decided you know sew the thumb to the side of the glove must have certainly put some support from Luton with him tonight he has and he started quite well here Andy, I think he's boxing nice. He's a nice jab. I saw Samasas on a fight card in Marbella at the end of August. Macklin's Jim Marbella had their first fight night over there. Matt Macklin headlined it, winning in just under a round. And he was in with a fighter called Kieran Mullen, who I've not seen before, but looked good. He was in really, really good shape. And Samasas went the four rounds, but never got close to really making any kind of impact in any of the four. It's funny, I saw the same contest, and, he, and he, he's quite tough, and he? he survived it. I was quite surprised he actually survived after the first round. I remember watching that myself. The Kieran Mullen was in great shape. He looked like an absolute specimen, he really did, and he put Samasas under some serious pressure, but he managed to get through the four rounds. It's quite unusual, though, isn't he, Samasas? He, he kind of got this unusual style, kind of like, doesn't look like a fighter, but... He's got quite. He's quite skillful. You watch him. He's, he's got quite good defence. He's really unorthodox. No, he's him rushing forward there with his head down low. He tries to nullify what you're trying to do. Right to the body there from Mustafa. And again, bring some applause from his travelling fans. off balance as he threw the right hand there. <laughs> Mustafa just missing with the left hand and then strong with the right as well and the round safely negotiated by Samasas. Mustafa was the fighter coming forward. He clearly won that first round. I think it was probably a bit of a blow for him not winning on debut. That's Getting on for almost a year ago now, and possibly that knocked his confidence a little bit. Yeah, especially given a draw as well, it's quite, it is quite a blow, isn't it? You know, when you turn, turn professional, you obviously want to get up to a winning start. I suppose the consolation is he didn't lose. But as you said, it's quite, you know, 39 39 was quite an unusual score. It shows how tight the contest was. But he's certainly boxing well here tonight. Well, just some tape being put on the right glove of Mr. Fu as the bell's about to go for the start of round two. They just need to get that sorted out. Mr. Fu taken over to the neutral corner. And we're about ready to get back going again. Got 
got caught with the left hand there, Samasas, as he tried to work away to the body of Mustafa, but threw back with a good jab. Nice lead left hand. Samasas has just turned southpaw. Now he's gone back. What's your view on switching? I, I said earlier on that everybody seems to want to do it these days. And some people can and some people can't. And if you can't, then it's dangerous. Because if you get that caught mid-switch, standing square, then it could be curtains. That, that's exactly right. You're spot on. That's, I wouldn't would encourage you. Unless you're naturally gifted like, like someone like Lee Selby, something like you'll get away with it. I think you've got to be so good on your feet. You've got to have great balance when you switch. You've got to have that balance right. Because you, you can get hurt and get caught with a silly shot. Tyson Fury employed it to fairly good effect in his fight against Derek Chisora Fury with his challenge to Vladimir Klitschko delayed but coming up at the end of November. A fight that obviously fascinates me. I keep changing my mind as to which way I think that one could go. I was thinking that Fury had a real chance about a month ago and now I'm leaning towards the fact that I think that Klitschko might have too much for him and I'll probably change my mind again before mm. the end of November but it's a fascinating one. I think, I think it's a fabulous fight, great fight for the fans, but I believe Fury has got a real, real chance, a real live chance. But saying we've seen what a good Klitschko can be. He wouldn't be that dominant for the years if he wasn't such a great fighter. Mustafa just showing good reflexes there, just to sway back and get out of the way of that right hand from Samasas. Putting his punches together in twos and threes here, really, Mustafa. Right hand. Good work, right? For Mustafa. Got a nice pedigree of punches. Simon Sash is dipping his head and trying to move him behind that left hand. He's very cagey, you know, as we said earlier. He's, he's quite clever in what he does. He nullifies you. He, like, you notice that he slipped the shot down and he put his head underneath Mustafa's chin. He's very awkward to fight. And look good against. That was up on the hook. Samasas had the gloves pretty tight to the side of the head. Good punch selection from Mustafa. But again, a lot of them hitting the gloves. But he's but again, he's won this round, clearly. Final few seconds of the second round. <laughs> Mr. Vidya stands a right hand right on the belt. He returns to that red corner. There's that switch in I was talking about earlier, turning south, Paul. Must have threw the right shot right through the middle there. That's the, that's the perfect shot to throw. He's trying to use that upper body movement there, Must have as well. Yeah, I think he's shown a good variety tonight, Andy. I think, you know, he's trying to pick his shots. Against someone I don't think you're, you're going to look good against. It's Take some deep breaths in the corner. As we head into the third round of this schedule for four at Super Middleweight, Mohamed Mustafa in the white shorts against Thomas Samasas in the black. A lot of good boxing coming up in the next few weeks. I mentioned the fight between Callum Smith and Rocky Fielding as Cotto Alvarez as well, of course, Fury, Klitschko de Gale against Lucien Boutes on the same night and into December, Anthony Joshua against Dillian White. Yeah, there's some cracking fights, isn't there? I think we'll be spot this year. Such a, I mean, such a variety of great contest. <laughs> Sam is having a go here. Yeah? Being a bit more aggressive, isn't it? Yeah, he's having, he's having a real go. Which is good. Chasing Mustafa across the ring. Referee Bob Williams making sure they separate. 
And two of those fights I mentioned, Atsu from Middleweight, Smith against Fielding, but De Gael against Butte as well. That's a really interesting fight for me. I think everybody's assuming that after he was brutalised by Carl Froch, and I was there that night ringside to witness it, the most exhilarating night of boxing I've ever been to, I think, that Butte is just never going to be the same again. He has had some fights since then, and he hasn't really shown an awful lot as Mr. Fudge just looks to try and get onto the front foot here in his right leg almost just gave away underneath him slightly just a slight slip as he tried to close in on Samasas there but this is a final hurrah for Butte really isn't it he's got the fight in Canada for which they must have paid again a lot of money and it will be at the Bell Centre or the Pepsi Coliseum 20,000 sell out when he's defending that IBF Kyan he used to do that all the time he's never been beaten there has he either You've got to mind James to go, you know, def you know, you first defend your title, you like to think you have at home. But he's going to go away, isn't he? He's going to go into the Lions' backyard and defend his title. See, the shows how confident him and Jim McDonnell are of success. But it's not, it's, it's not a gimme, it's not a gimme fight. By no means, Butte will just be looking to summon it all up just to see if he can well, roll back the ears almost. I mean, the defeat against Froch was, was bruising, not just to the body, but to the mind I think because he came into that fight as a heavy favourite if people cast their minds back and remember he was a heavy favourite people he was. thought the might have been at the end of his career after he lost to Andre Ward and you know he had nowhere else to go he was make or break for him and Dutte was packed full of confidence he wouldn't have come to Nottingham if he wasn't like the girl going to Canada definitely not and I think I think you can know by Eddie Earl's reaction when he jumped in the ring early you know how close relieved I suppose there was as well Mustafa just leaping in behind that right hand. He did a good round here, Mustafa, as well this round. You know, Samus has given some different things to think about. But he's finished strong, Mustafa Mohammed. Mustafa, he's, he's boxed really well. Well, end of round three. Not on the head towards the supporters there for Mustafa as he heads back towards his corner. He's got three in the bank. And have a good learning fight. Thomas Samaras, he, he's an awkward, like, like I said earlier, he's, he's an awkward kind of fighter. He's not going to make you look good. But you can get the rounds in with him, you can f try a few things. You know, he's a bit wild, which you've got to defend against. You've got, he must have been picking some good shots here. He's a perfect fight for him at this stage of his career. It's back to that super middleweight scene. George Groves against Baddy Jack a month or so ago now, was it a few weeks or so ago? And yeah. It talks about bruising defeats mentally and, and psychologically for Butte against Brockton. I just worry that that was a real bad one for George Groves because he boxed pretty well that night he was in that fight, but he didn't get it. It's the third time he's fought for a world title and he hasn't got it. And I just wonder if he can come back from it, to be honest. We, 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 you know, we're we're going to see, obviously, changing trainers. But I actually thought Bodo Jack boxed the best, best he's ever boxed. I thought he deserved he won the contest. I think, no, it must be so frustrating for Jules, but I'm sure he can regroup. He's a marquee fighter, and I'm sure he'll get another opportunity. He's trying to let go with that right hand, holding those gloves low. Pot shotting a little bit in this final round, but he's not an easy target to find Samasas. You can fool yourself that you caught him clean when you haven't really. Did there though. Nice cuffing left hand. I think he fancies a job in this last round, Mr. Foot. He wants to put his foot down and really finish strongly, which is good to see. He's certainly got his fans excited. I can't say it earlier, Sam has got a kind of clever style. I don't know, it's a survival style, but he's all within it, he like dips and rolls and... He is, he's never been stopped, those nine defeats, he's never been stopped. And good, good point. He fights four six-rounders against prospects fighters early in their career just like him then not many people are going to put him down you wouldn't no, think no that's right they just talked about fighting in my bar recently when the, the first round was like tonight you think oh this guy gonna get him at it but he, he don't he's, he's just a born survivor 
Must have done well tonight. Yeah, they boxed really well. They still have to be careful as well. They see Sam has to charge his forward there with his head down low. See, I love these fighters, Andy, for, for young fighters. I think you learn a lot. It's like blowing someone away. I think that's what it's all about, getting the rounds in. Different experience, you know, different styles. We're heading towards the end of this one, approaching the last 30 seconds. It's scheduled for four at Super Middleweight. Mohamed Mustafa will get a win in the bank after a disappointing draw in his opening fight. Sam Assas will get back to Lithuania. I'm not sure it won't be too long before the phone rings again from the UK for him. No, definitely not. You know what, it's good for us. Like, as I said, Mustafa, you know, he's nice and fit. I like to see him step up to six rounds. I think he's already ready for that. He's only in a couple of fights, but he's certainly ready. Good defensive skill there from Sam. You know, it's awkward. Well, both swinging right at the final bell. Nice bit of action on this fight night. Mustafa just beats his chest. I don't think there's any doubt that he's going to get the decision on referee Bob Williams' card. A good performance after coming back from that draw. He's been out, out of the ring for quite a while since then. See the action from the last round here. But no, he's got, got quite natural balancing skills. Mustafa, but again, it's the awkwardness of. Some sisters made him work. Yet still be careful. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of super middleweight action, Henry Williams scored the contest 40 points to 36 points to your winner from Luton. So all four rounds given to Mohammed Mustafa by referee Bob Williams. It's the first win on his professional ledger. He now goes to two fights, one win and a draw.